welcome to the penultimate day of the European Continental Olympic qualifier. Today, the wind is coming from the southeast and it's the strongest breeze we've seen yet. Swiss sailing team is one of those boats in the running for Olympic ticket. Can you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Elliot Masseron. I'm sailing for Switzerland and uh, I'm in laser Ilka 7 since uh, since 10 years now, and uh, I'm competing for uh, Olympic ticket, of course. So a lot of people have been here practicing in Villamora for, for many, many weeks, mainly in a southeasterly breeze. The first four days of the championships have been southwesterly. Today, back to southeasterly, big waves. What does that mean for you? Yeah, it's uh, we, we had a lot of time these conditions of uh, southeast, so it's a uh, really challenging condition, really physical. So it will be a, a good war on the water. I mean, it's going to be spectacular racing. Do you think this changes anything for you? Uh, you're in a good position at the moment, but uh, the windier it is, maybe the more potential for boat speed differences. Uh, I think I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty, pretty good in this condition. We train a lot uh, and uh, my speed at the upwind is pretty good now. So I think uh, I, ca I can fight for, for the ticket. Good man, well, wishing you lots of luck in your fight. We're all gonna be watching the next couple of days with great interest. Thank you very much. So two more final races completed today, just two more left in the series. Today we had a, a strong southeasterly and surprisingly big waves, and it was a fantastic day uh, for the Swedish sailor. Can you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Josephine Olsson from Sweden. Two top tens, uh, very different conditions to the previous four days. Can you tell us a little bit about today? Yeah, it was nice to get some strong wind and some proper hiking in. Uh, so a bit different, new direction, big swell. It was, yeah, it was nice. And a, a lot of people had an inconsistent day today. Uh, you've moved up to second overall after, you know, two solid performances. What, what would you put that down to? Yeah, I think uh, key for me was just uh, two, basically two good starts and then um, hike really, work really hard in these ways. Yeah, laser sailing or ilka sailing, I should say, hiking hard always, yeah. always helps. Yeah, for sure. But these ways, if you don't hike hard, you just move sideways, I would say. So, yeah, it was key today, I think. And uh, thinking about tomorrow, just two more races to go. Have you looked at the conditions? What are you expecting? Uh, I had a small look um, and it looks similar to today. Maybe a bit lighter, I'm not sure, but we'll see. OK, well, I can see you're super keen to get home, get yeah, some rest. Get some food. Very best of luck for the final day. Yeah, thank you very much. Day five done and dusted here at Villamora Sailing. The sun's been out and today we had the strongest wind of the entire week. Looking forward to just two more races tomorrow and the championship for the Continental Olympic qualifier will be settled. In the Ilka 6, Anne-Marie has taken a commanding lead, but in the Ilka 7, it's still anyone's regatta. We have British sailor Mickey Bettit leading the charge.